We are talking now, number four, piece of wisdom, playing the game of life. And I'm gaining some personal freedom in this, and I'm really, I'm enjoying what I'm doing. And uh, wisdom always says, I wish I would have known this earlier. <laughs> and I want to show you a very simple diagram on how to learn to be emotionally real. Now, our theme is real and unreal, and I want to show you a simple diagram that has helped me. Would to God I would have known it. This is, this is the diagram I want you to see. Attic means that I am hyper, and I am emotionally blowing out. Basement means I am depressed and my failures are eating me and I don't, I'm self-loathing and all the hurts the kids are experiencing today. And then emotionally real, to be emotionally real, I have to learn to stay in the living room. Now I know it's free. I have many visits to the attic. I have many visits to the basement, but I don't live there. That's what well, my point is. I'm learning to go. Now, <laughs> I don't know whether to say this or not, but it's possible to go from the base, from the attic to the basement without stopping in the living room. <laughs> if you, if you, if you could see this little diagram, it would make so much sense for you because Later, I'm going to ask you, return to the living room. Now, all of all education, we have a thing called IQ, EQ, intellectual quotient and emotional quotient. The whole educational system has moved to IQ. Hear me, please. Intellectual Excellence does not guarantee you are real. The intellectual, in fact, it seems to almost to exacerbate the thing. Reality is emotional reality. I am determined to be emotionally real. I don't use people. I don't play emotional tricks. I'm not manipulative in all of that. So here, here's where we are. Uh, EQ means that I am learning how to be emotionally stable, emotionally mature, emotionally real. If I, if I'm continually in the, in the attic, continually in the basement, I begin to lose and I find myself increasingly unreal. Now, I want you to hear me say, learning to remain, dwell, stay in the living room prevents a thousand scars as you play the game of life.